Yo guys, what's going on today? We're going to show you how to properly create an auto executable file for CSGO. I've seen a couple of tutorials which are, I don't know, maybe they are outdated or something, but people are placing their files into the wrong folder. So here's how you do it. You're going to need to find your Steam folder. If you don't know where that is, you go to Steam, you go to settings and you go to downloads and you click here steam library folders and uh, i have two folders because i have games on another disc so you're gonna want this the first one where your steam is installed so we're gonna go here and here and we're gonna search for steam and then we're gonna go over to user data and you're gonna pick your account so yeah you're only gonna have one folder here if you have one account um the csgo is 730 so you open that local cfg and here you're gonna create this file you're gonna right click here new and you're gonna go to text document and you have to spell it exactly as it is and then change dot text to dot cfg okay i'm not gonna make this one because i already have it so you're gonna end up with this file um if you're wondering what editor i'm using is the notepad plus plus it's great for things like that now what you can do in here is basically limitless there is a lot of information that you can store into this file including your uh, crosshair and things like that but to be absolutely sure that this is working you want to add this text at the end or somewhere in the middle at the start it doesn't matter so when you check your console it's gonna says loaded auto executable right now there's one more thing you need to do there's one more thing you need to do. You're going to go back to your Steam. You're going to right click on Counter-Strike properties. And then you're going to go under set launch options. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to copy that command in. All of those commands are down in the description below. It has to be exactly like this. You have to spell it exactly as you spell the file. Okay. Let's see if the file loads. Okay. So you're going to open your console. And as you can see, loaded auto executable. So that was a success. Okay, now it's your time to subscribe. <laughs> Leave a like. Hope this video was helpful. See y'all in the next one. Bye bye.